Four friends. I'm Gemma, Events and Engagement Manager at My Society. We're one of the members of the Code for All network based in the UK. I'm the programme lead for TicTech, our global gathering about the impacts of civic technology. I'm going to talk to you about what TicTech is, what's next for TicTech, and how you can get involved. TicTech is all about bringing together awesome people from across the world who build, research, use and fund civic technology to talk openly and honestly about its impact and how to improve them. TICTEC stands for the Impacts of Civic Technology Conference and started back in 2015 as an annual conference, but has now expanded into a programme of year-round activities. To give you an idea of past conferences, since 2015 we've held TICTEC conferences in London, in Barcelona, in Florence, in Taipei, in Lisbon, in Paris, and online. And it's been great to see lots of you and lots of the Code for All members there over the years. Recently, we've just come to the end of a two year program of activities called TicTech Labs, which was funded by the National Endowment for Democracy. As part of this project, um, we organised six civic tech surgeries. And after each of those, a working group or action lab um, came together to decide what would be useful to commission to tackle some of civic tech's biggest challenges. Surgery attendees and action lab members came from all over the world. Uh, so it's been amazing to convene such a global group of like-minded civic tech folks. I'm going to highlight now some of the projects that were commissioned uh, as they are freely available to use and we really hope they help others working on civic tech around the world. So projects commissioned included these case studies um, by People Powered um, that showcase public private civic tech success stories um, to hopefully help and inspire others who want to do similar in their countries. They go into detail about how they did the projects um, and have discussion guides alongside as well. A toolkit was produced in English, Spanish, French and Arabic on how to make civic tech more accessible. So do check that out to make sure your civic tech projects are as accessible as they can be. An online course in English and French was produced to help train organisations and the data to access good quality, uh, to train the public uh, organisations and the public to access good quality data for civic tech projects. And a training course was run for civic tech organisations on how to get their stories into the mainstream media. Um, you can find all the course content on the Tick Tech website um, to give you tips on how to do the same. As I said, you can find all information on all of these projects uh, with links to guides and the courses, etc on this URL on the TicTech website uh, and you can use the QR code. We really hope um, these resources are helpful for the civic tech community uh, and thank you so much to everyone who has uh, been involved in TicTech Labs. It's been amazing to connect and work together. We also have a new knowledge hub on the TicTech website. Uh, it's a searchable archive of all resources from previous TicTech events and initiatives. So, for example, videos of TicTech presentations and slides um, and other resources like guides. Uh, so it's now even easier than ever to find information on civic tech research and, and impacts. Uh, so do go check that out um, yourself using this QR code or the URL. As for what we're working on now, uh, we have just received confirmation that NED, the National Endowment for Democracy, will fund another two year TicTech programme, which we're calling TicTech Communities. This will involve organising three communities of practice in the following areas, uh, in parliamentary and legislative monitoring tech, in access to information civic tech, and democratic climate action tech. So the project will bring those working in these areas 
um, from across the world together to learn to share learnings, challenges, and make connections. We're really excited to be working on this with the Civic Tech Field Guide. And if you've not heard of it before, where have you been? <laughs> I urge you to check it out. It's the uh, world's largest collection of civic tech projects in the world. Um, so there's the URL and a QR code to visit. If you're interested in finding out more about the Tic Tech communities of practice when they get set up and running, please do email us uh, at ticktech at mysociety.org um, uh, or use the QR code to sign up to our mailing list. We are also thrilled to say that tic the Tic Tech conference is returning. Uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll be hosting a hybrid Tic Tech conference in May 2024. Um, that will bring together those interested in civic tech research again, once again in person and uh, online this time. Um, the location for this is still being researched and finalised, um, but we plan to announce final details and our call for proposals in November. If you are interested and able to support the Tech 2024 conference or to happen in your country or, or your city, uh, or want to partner in any way, then please do contact us. Um, you can use the ticktech at mysociety.org email or email me directly, Gemma at mysociety.org. So um, to finalise then, to hear all of ticktech announcements first, you can sign up for our ticktech mailing list, um, use the QR code on the screen now. Uh, and we really, really hope to welcome you all into the ticktech fold and see you at upcoming Tic Tech gatherings, whether they're online or in person. Uh, please do feel free to email me directly if you have any questions at all. Uh, thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Yeah, 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 yeah.